The Toyota is committed to a multi-pathway strategy. I simply want to make ever better car, no matter what kind of the pattern they have. Has Toyota killed all competition? Yes, the 2025 Land Cruiser FJ has just shell-shocked the world. To be precise, Toyota recently unveiled the FJ, a new Land Cruiser. And to be honest, they may have just destroyed the competition. You must have heard about it by now. However, the most well-known automotive publisher in Japan has now provided us with a wealth of fresh information. Buckle up for the exciting ride on the Land Cruiser FJ. We now know that it will have a platform designed to make it the greatest, along with greater power than we had anticipated. It's a real game changer. So all we have to do is imagine how the market will react. It is reasonable to claim that it is the greatest SUV available, both in the Toyota lineup and overall, and it was recently verified by this fresh source. What then is actually taking place? Thanks to a Japanese magazine that you may have heard of. We have a good understanding of Toyota's strategy and they nearly always publish fresh information. And it's simply wonderful what they have disclosed. First of all, while having identical proportions, it will not be built on the Corolla Cross chassis, unlike what most people had assumed. Sharing the F platform with the other fantastic vehicles like the new 4Runner, the Land Cruiser J250, the GX, the Tacoma, and nearly all of Toyota's flagship trunks and automobiles. This latter frame beast is tough and dependable. Additionally, it features a throwback boxy design that honors the iconic Land Cruisers of the 20 and 40 series. The best aspect is that it is the most economical Land Cruiser ever. And even though it shares much of the Corolla's dimensions, it's far more enjoyable to handle and drive. Regarding its name, they have also offered some insightful commentary. Despite the fact that Toyota hasn't yet revealed the name, additionally, various nations may have different names for it. That would make sense given that other markets, including Europe and Australia, refer to the 250 series Land Cruiser as a Parado and that the new term FJ Cruiser already exists and adequately describes the old one. For this reason, it's been referred to as the Mini Cruiser by everyone up until now. However, it appears that they are now aiming for the FJ moniker. However, this is not everything they disclosed. Pay close attention, as we will soon disclose everything and discuss any possible problems this item may have. The engine beneath the hood is a 2TRF according to the world. That dependable 4-cylinder engine has been powering the Tacoma for a very long time. It is made it to either a 6-speed manual or 6-speed automatic transmission, producing 161 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. Now, the performance figures on this engine may appear low, but it is still quite competent. It gets 22 mpg and can haul 3500 pounds. To be honest, this works rather nicely for the base model. There is a good chance that alternatives will vary globally, either a diesel or a hybrid. As far as we know, in fact, there was a plan to do just that, but they completely scrapped it. Why? Well, Toyota was lying about pollution on a couple of its engines globally. Now, some are conjecturing that this may be the cause of their delay in choosing their other engine choices. This is particularly disappointing because it was anticipated that the rave which comes in gasoline hybrid and plug-in hybrid models and the new FJ will have similar engine options. However, based on all the information that is currently available, we can assume that it will come with the same hybrid powertrain as the Tacoma, known as the iForce Max. This engine is a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that is paired with an electric motor and a battery pack. With 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque, this hybrid engine is quite powerful. With an estimated 27 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway, it has higher fuel economy than the TRF. Think about it with a smaller frame. It will transform it into a more agile and reasonably priced variant of the iconic Land Cruiser 250, bringing all the functionality and flair of the Land Cruiser into a small cost-effective vehicle. When it comes to off-road capabilities, Toyota wants this vehicle to rule its class. This SUV is prepared to face any obstacles. It exudes the sense of adventure that drivers long for. It provides drivers with a smooth ride and adaptability they demand, even on rough terrain. It's a unique combination of elegance and durability. The legend returns. It has been a long time, but I assure you, it's worth the wait. Distinguishes it from other small SUVs. Despite its small size, it possesses the same toughness and dependability that turned its grandfather into a legend. Its dimensions place it in the popular category of compact adventure cars matching those of the stylish Corolla Cross. However, this SUV needs to provide something more in order to really stand out, and it does. Just consider this. What more could you want from a compact SUV like this? It is equipped with the necessary power and will use the same platform as the larger 250 series Land Cruiser. 
you are aware of the significant impact that creates. Toyota bases the majority of their models on this, as it is effective. Put it on a compact SUV and you have a winner since it's firmer and stronger. It distinguishes itself from the competition with special off-road qualities that have made the Land Cruiser a renowned vehicle. Prepare to face top competitors in the small off-road vehicle market, such as the Ford Bronco Sport and the Suzuki Jimny. That being said, because this is a cheap car, don't expect a high-tech display inside. We should take more time and go into greater depth, so we'll discuss the precise cost later. But will we see a striped-down Land Cruiser FJ without a touchscreen? That's what the magazine's design conveys. However, is it really going to work in North America? But they could just do it to grab media attention. Such a basic non-touchscreen contemporary SUV would undoubtedly get a lot of attention. Does Toyota, however, require that focus? They already have the entire planet in their grasp after all. They indicated it would be released by the end of the year as of last autumn, and nothing has changed since then. Maybe we'll see it by November, when the firm reports the lineup. Toyota is attempting to simultaneously unveil its cars for several markets, thus they may use a similar strategy with this SUV, with several engine configurations for different geographical areas. Who can say for sure then? We'll have to watch and find out. And prepare yourself for a surprise since the Japanese publication Best Car claims that the beginning price will be in the range of 3 million to 3.8 million yen, or around $25,000. There is some validity to the criticism that this is overly optimistic, as dealerships often add a significant amount, even if the initial price is reasonable. All we need to do is observe what is occurring to the Maverick. In actuality, their beginning prices are the same. Thus, we anticipate that this car will cost more in the ideal scenario, perhaps as much as $40,000. It will likely start at $30,000 in the US. That's the starting point of 4Runner. The 4Runner costs $55,000 instead of $40,000. However, that is where the J250 comes into play. With a price tag of almost $70,000, thus the prices of the three various SUV levels are quite close. For this reason, some claim that the ideal price range for this little Land Cruiser in the US is between $30,000 and $40,000, and it's going to be off the charts if they can pull it off, if they nail that pricing range. For this beauty, people will be lined up around the block. But keep in mind that Toyota has already cut the 250 series' price by about $20,000. They made the decision based mostly on affordability, therefore this may happen as well. And for good reason, they know what customers want and deliver on it. However, if you decide not to wait for or purchase the new FJ Land Cruiser, Toyota will take care of you. The RAV4 is your choice. Not only does its reputation speak for itself, but Toyota has recently unveiled a new model that, to be honest, even surpasses the previous one. All in all, this is an excellent SUV. You can't help but adore it because of its amazing engine options and completely fresh design idea, which give it such remarkable power. That's all guys, let's wait and watch what the Land Cruiser has in store for us. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more information.